Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the original Prusa i3 Mark III by Joseph Prusa. Um, and what capabilities it has of what printing and what it can do. This is just one thing we have 3D printed, but you can do a lot more stuff with the 3D printer and like build these useful brackets but they're my dad so i don't know what he's actually using them for i i did also print a articulated slug which i'll show later and oh, if you don't know what articulated means it's basically where you can just move it and it's flexible but solid pieces i guess yeah so you can build a lot of useful pieces but one problem we did have with the printer was that if you try to print an articulated, for example, an articulated slug, is that it would slip over the place because of the grease from the prints before. So we use some of this isopro panel, whatever it's called, um, and we just get a wipe and just wipe it down before every print so it helps it and one also good thing about it is that these bits are 3d printed like all of these so it's made by these uh printers are made by the the 3d printers so you can print new stuff for it and we also printed uh those holders up there so we can hold all the filaments and feed them down into here when we need to and yeah it it does come pre-built uh but you could get a, a kit if you didn't want to build it no if you did want to build it um but you could also get this pre-built and it also comes with a pack of harry bows when you order it it's pretty cool it does have a fan to cool it down after it's heated um, and you could you can also use you could also use an SD card to uh, download all your 3d models on so we have a, a chip that goes into the computer like a USB and you download all the files onto here using Prusa Slicer. And then you simply put it into here. And then you could, there are all the things that we have uh, made on this. But before we did this, we did do it from straight here on straight to here. But it did take quite a bit of space on the actual computer itself. These pieces also come in different colours. Uh, I believe one of them is black and, of course, orange. I just find orange is cool because then it would just be all black. Yeah, so if you want me to do some live streams on what I'm printing, uh, just leave them down in the com comments below. We have also made some drawers to go in the hobby room. Uh, they are 3D printed as well, and they can all connect to one another. And I'll go show you that right now. So these are the drawers, and as you can see, they do slide onto each other. And they also come in, like, they also uh, have the inner bit as well that like you can pin to the wall and yeah we've just finished printing this one to go onto this so we have we have actually printed nine and yeah it's pretty cool one thing i did forget to mention is i have now got a shop called robotechie.com i'll leave that in the, the in the description below it's of, of course about our 3D prints and what we are selling on our shop. We do accept Bitcoin payments, so if you place an order, I will see that. 
and then I will send you a lightning invoice using Blue Wallet. So this is the website that we use or app that we use. Uh, it's called uh, Slayer Process Slicer and you download the file. I use Thingiverse and you download it into whatever file you want. And then when you open that file, it should come up here, but once you've installed it, and then it can show you how big it is. So that's roughly like two squares, which is about that long. And if you go down to the bottom left, you can see like how it prints by pressing down here. Oops. Yeah, and you can see all the layers that it does print. So that's like the bottom, that's the first layer. It just builds up towards the last. The PLA is just Prusa PLA. And then that it tells you the length down the bottom. So surprisingly for that size, it only took an hour and 20 minutes. If you did have the SD card in, you would have a little symbol here and you would just click it to that. And then you can just take it out and put it in here and select the one that you want. So it's pretty simple and you could just add supports if need be or not to be. I would definitely recommend this printer if you just wanted to start 3D printing like Iron Man helmets or Mandalorian helmets or anything you want. I would definitely recommend this one as it is roughly 700 pounds. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. I I think you're gonna have to double check on that one, but it's a very good printer, and I would definitely recommend it.
thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.